Hey, what up, Street Talks? There, came from there, come Street Star Blog. So, want to share with you some uh, random turbo thoughts. So, the first practical idea is this: artists shall inherit the earth. So, what do I mean by that, and what do I mean to say? So, well, check out this. Check out the sunset, sunrise. So beautiful. All right. Anyways, so. This is, this is my basic notion. Let us think about some of the most popular and most successful companies in history. Probably the, the best one thus far is uh, Apple. So what made Apple great? Steve Jobs. He's essentially the genius behind Apple. And obviously, you know, all the employees who worked with Steve and everyone else, Steve, especially Joni Ive, made um, Apple great. But truly, 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 it's Steve Jobs' epic vision which made Apple what it is. Ooh, more sun, sun Oh, it's so beautiful. And so, what made Steve Jobs so great. So these are these are just this is just why I think. So I think he was just like the apex artist, businessman, child, and I think his uh, primary strength was he allowed himself to be, you know, his 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 mantra where he got from the whole Earth catalog, stay hungry, stay foolish, and certainly to kind of remain childlike, to question authority, to not compromise and so forth. Now, it's, it's so interesting because, um, so I, I'm, I'm 32 years old right now, born in 1988, and so I was like, I was kind of able to see the rise of Apple, especially when I was in college. I think the, the, the first iPhone came out when I was, I think like maybe a sophomore or junior in college, but it's interesting because I remember life before Apple and life after Apple or life before Steve Jobs and after Steve Jobs. Yo, I remember growing up as a kid, computers, yo, computers were before, you know, uh, Apples or whatever. Computers were so ugly. They were just these like beige boxes, IBM stuff, and now they're all beautiful. And so it was actually initi initially Steve Jobs' initial push to get rid of buttons and purity of design and so forth, which actually all the major companies start to fall suit. So like, for example, you know, even Android and Samsung and all those companies would not exist if it wasn't for Steve Jobs' initial team and his initial vision to create the original iPhone. But anyways, so what does it mean to be an artist? So in today's world, like in the past, the most noble thing you could become was um, a soldier or a hero or a warrior and in today's world where we're not so military like most people don't you know serve in the military or whatnot and at least in America there's no uh, mandatory military service although there is in other countries so for the most part we live pretty kind of like easy pedestrian lives easy uh, civilian lives and so I think you know how can we exhibit courage in today's world and to me, it's all about courage. That's the only thing I'm actually interested in. It's uh, probably courage, art, and philosophy, or courage, aesthetics, and something else. But I think as an artist, it's probably one of the new best ways that you could exhibit courage. Why art? Because, like, when I, when I talk about art, I'm, 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 I'm talking very, very loosely. It's like, art as in, you know, having a certain creative vision and putting in the world, but also thinking about art like, you know, it could be uh, as a poet, as a writer, you're an artist, um, as a photographer, a uh, blogger, vlogger, whatever you is, or a photographer, you're an artist. And with artists, the only sin we could do is compromise our vision and to water ourselves down. Ooh, some more pretty stuff. Oh, I like that. Nice sunrise. Yeah. All right. 
So, um, yeah, so as artists, it kind of gives you a unique opportunity to exhibit courage and to, to essentially change the world and to essentially be a warrior but using art. Yo, check out these steps. So beautiful. I don't remember the last time I woke up for sunrise. This is actually pretty, pretty magnificent. Okay. So as an artist, it's one of the few times you could exhibit courage. So even if I think about the greatest artists that I admire, you know, like one of them being Andy Warhol. I personally love the work of Andy Warhol because he was just so brave in terms of just calling out the BS in the art world. And he essentially kind of poked fun at it and he allowed himself to be quite, ch uh, quite childlike. You know, even Leonardo da Vinci, great artist. And then truly, 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 once he becomes super rich and famous, blah, blah, what he ended up doing, you probably end up collecting art, pursuing art, making your own art and so forth. So like even, you know, like think about Jay-Z, right? How did Jay-Z become a billionaire? Essentially, he was the ultimate artist businessman. And, um, you know, even thinking about like, what is he collecting? He's collecting like Jean-Michel Basquiat. So, and you know, even rappers, right? Rappers and Nike, Supreme, whatever you call it. Even luxury brands, what are they selling? They're not selling luxury products, they're actually selling art. And ultimately, in my eyes, art is the ultimate luxury. And um, beyond just kind of like simple consumerist values, I think we should think about art just purely from this like creation perspective because Urian could, um, can buy art, right? And I think most people tend to buy art as a means of uh, consumerism. Like, you know, like even when people design sneakers, I think that's very artistic. So when we look at different sneakers and colors and stuff like that, that is essentially art. And so people, people are essentially trying to buy art, okay? And maybe it's our duty as creators, as artists, to give genesis and to give birth to new forms of art to put in the world, to share it and hopefully, you know, empower ourselves, empower others, make ourselves feel more epic and to become all that we can be and to learn to love the beauty of life because the beauty of life is what allows us to, to live on and continue living, doing stuff and making art. Okay, until next time, street dogs, sayonara.